All right. LA, LA is flowering. Let's see if we can't get a good shot of that. There she is. Yeah, big black trunk native banana. And then my fit a right up there is just starting to flower. Those buds get tucked up inside. And then starfruit here. I'm starting to crank this year. I got tons of baby fruit on this short little tree. This thing is what, maybe six, seven feet tall. I've been bending it though. Look at all this fruit, huh? Unreal. One of my only nursery trees. And then, uh, been training my marong. This marong here is from seed. And you see, I've, I've, been, I've been tying the base and I got them bent. And I got strings coming off of it here, going down. Because uh, the idea is these things get enormous, and if you don't bend them, they're going to get out of control and get all gangly on you. See, I just bent, I just bent this guy right here. This is also a, a marong. And look, it's starting to branch. Oh, branching already. Let's see, look at the wicked curve I put in this thing. This, right? But if the base of it's like this, it's going to make it easier to get up later. And I relocated my lemongrass to a drier spot, doing way better. Lilikoi has gone grand massive. Uh, my old, I think Maafala Ulu is looking real good. I stuck a bunch of other breadfruit in along the property line, along with durian. This is durian from seed. And then I got a bunch of spiny pineapple I just put in all along the row here because uh, the animals don't like going through it. Oh, my Spanish tamarind's making a good leap. So this is the Spanish tamarind. I don't think it's tried to flower yet, but it's sure looking happy and healthy. And then get really ate up. And I can smell my bees up here. I need to come check the honey up here. I put this supper on top with a queen extruder. And my guess is, is that they're probably filled out that top by now and I should take that off. And my cinnamon there behind this uh, uh, pigeon pea is doing pretty good. And see, I got my little pukas into the woods here. Look for my little Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Like an Easter egg hunt. Yeah, there's one. And there's day one. And oh, I look at them. They're everywhere. I bring my bag up and fill them up. They're starting to drop. Gotta beat the rats and the mice to them. See the rats come in corn out like that. Ooh. Bring the bag back up. Look at that, this is dropping right, right there in the kind. Such an inchy. Crept all the way up this thing. Great hedge. Great privacy hedge. Grows really, really fast. And good nuts. I like them. And this is, these are Fae's. And my uh, cut nuts. Probably got 50 cut nuts on the property here. And they're all doing great. Look at these beauties. Uh, almost, that's like seven feet tall now. And the aroma bicolor. And, uh, Chocolates, big rack of my maoli. And one of my chocolates over here is trying to make fruit. These are the most successful 
little attempts so far. But these trees are only two and a half years old and they're already succeeding in pulling off some uh, flowers and fruit. So yeah, this is chocolate, 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 chocolate. I think we got 23 of them along in here. And uh, they're really taking off now. All these guys are chocolate. Chocolate and chocolate. And then to mix in between, I've got the jackfruits. Good quality jackfruits, also from seed. And some Champa Deck and Champa Jack to mix it up a little. Oh, you don't want that little guy on there. You'll see this tree is just loading, loading up with flowers. It hasn't really made a full attempt yet. These guys are flowering. And this is my biggest durian. This is from seed, kind of in here with the kratom. But this beauty is, what, not even two years old from seed. And we're talking eight feet. So that's a good sign. And I just slap my, my fence in, beginning of my fence, because we finally fell a tree where we could figure out what our actual line was. So that's nice. And then the rows are doing what they're doing. I've got a lot of Malabar chestnut taken off in here because they'll be here for a long time. You can mutate them and, or butcher them into whatever shape you want. And uh, my little buddies here, a lot of cardamom across the back. There's still quite a few vanillas that have held on. I'm always pulling Cecropria. The really common weed here and yeah I got my first um, Malabar chestnut pod the other day so they're already making fruit I think my Cuban reds here are gonna throw a throw a flower any day now they're all kind of in the same phase but nice dwarf Cubans harvest some cardamom. Easy to let this stuff get out of control. Kind of go through heavy flowering and dieback phases. But you gotta be there in time to pick the seeds before they get too ripe. My cloves are doing good. This is clove. And this guy's a clove. And we got another clove right here. Really looking like a beauty. I think this thing's gonna throw some seeds here in the next couple of years for sure. And bananas up on the hill. This is kind of new clearing and compost. Working our way up the side of the hill. Yerba mate has been doing pretty good. That's the stuff. Yeah, it likes it here. You can get in the vanilla to grow up it. They can shoulder each other. And then big clump of mugwort getting out of control over here. You gotta find something to do with this stuff. Mm, smells good though. big pile of wood chips and clearing. We got a bunch of volunteer peppers all bagged up, bananas getting ready to go. It's a little cashew tree from seed. I've got my uh, ice cream beans starting in here for privacy, but I don't know if these trees are going to live here forever. Oh, and my uh, Captain Crunch berry tree has been doing pretty good from a little branch start. Doesn't look like I have any ripe ones today, but there's some getting going. You can just see them in there. They're so good. So good. So 
see the rams are doing good. My carobs, my carobs from seed, looking pretty darn good now. Starting to look like little bushes. And my dragon fruit finally just threw a flower. I'll see if this fruit matures or not. I have my doubts. First flower off of these guys. And then my Ankala, Borneo Avocado, is starting to do pretty good. Oh, I got another one over here. It's got a branch on it now. Oh, oh, oh. This is a first. I got these things as little stick cuttings out of the mail. And uh, never even tried one. Look at that. It's cutting branches. Oh my goodness. Cool beans. Yeah, I wasn't sure if I'd like it over here. It's kind of the dry red dirt side of the uh, property. And the tamarillos are doing better than I care for. And I got some kind of mangosteen start there. Hiding in the shade. All my pseudonyms here. Started from seed, they're doing really good. Be coming ahead. And then mixed into all this. I got some weed over here. I got allspice. That's what these guys are. Allspices, and I think they're stuck, yeah, a couple of coffees. In. Maybe that's a little coffee and a little coffee. They'll come along in time. That's allspice. Yeah, allspice there. And coffee. And that's coffee. And we got one durian. And these guys are down at the base of the eucalyptus here. And eucalyptus are not, not very good for the dirt. Oh, yeah. So that's what we've been doing lately. Had to work on the truck for about a week. Still working on the shit house. Ooh, got this really rare and super cool lime from a friend. These are limes that are sweet like a regular orange. You can just eat them like an orange, but they totally taste like a lime. They're so cool. So cool. And this guy, I can't remember yet, but maybe it'll fruit this year for me. Hope so. Yeah, anyway, yeah, and then all my aerial yams up here kind of did their thing did their thing this year not as good as i thought it'd be we had a pretty heavy dry streak but i uh i left all the roots in the ground this time you see that's the stem right there so that's grass, but that's the stem so and hopefully the base has just come back stronger and stronger each year but you know, hey, these are still a pretty good potato. Ooh, that's what they do. Pop right off in your hand when they're ready. Very, very good yam. Very good yam. Highly advised to anybody who can get a hold of this. Bulbifera. Bulbifera. Mm. Yeah, can we get those later? Yeah, I've got my new little pineapple patch in here. And the uh, curry tree. Got to have a curry tree or two around. And our spiny pineapple. These things keep the critters away. And then a bunch of sweet commercial pineapple. All from the same head. Oh, and my peanut, peanut butter jelly tree, putting its first fruit, maybe two more if I'm lucky. Huh? Maybe, maybe three, four more if I'm lucky. Hmm, all right. And then, wow, look at, look at that katuk grass. That's what happens when all your katuk seeds fall to the ground. They all want to, all of them want to grow. Almost invasive here. Yeah, and so the property next door has technically gone up for sale over here. So I had to kind of reconfirm my line and drop the fence in here but I made a nice 
plant wall to go along this. Of course, there's a chocolate up at the top and one of my biggest cut nuts on the property right next to this. But then I got my beautiful Kalo jackfruit from our friend Coconut Chris on Big Eye, who was gracious enough to bring this out to Kalo Valley about 15 plus years ago. And this is a seed off of that variety. And I just stuck down in uh, a Chompa Jack, Chompa Jack cross. He's already throwing branches. This is going to be a hardy tree. I've seen uh, the parents to these, the fruit came like a couple feet off the ground in some instances. And then this chocolate here is pushing five years. This is the one on the property I left it as an example of uh, don't leave them in the pot, even a tree pot for too long. You really only want maybe two sets of leaves uh, from the seed leaf and that's about it get it in the ground from that point otherwise they're going to get stunted so to think like this bugger here is five years right this little thing here is a volunteer that's two years old look at how bushy it is look at how bushy that little bugger is and that, and that totally was like lost under a planting station it was not intentional and my egg fruit here just started to throw branches oh yeah egg fruit but this here is an example of the two and a half year old from seed in the ground cacao. Look at this big thing. I pruned it too and beaten it back. I say, what is that? Like eight, ten, no, ten feet tall. Nine, ten feet tall. And uh, cropping with flowers. All kind of wonderful flowers starting to pop out on this bugger. So that's an example. That, that pathetic little thing right over there five years old this monster tree right here three years you know two and a half three years old they were really all these guys this one this chocolate here that chocolate there at the property line was kind of one of the runs oh and then yeah uh this is betel betel palm i think it is if it's not i'm gonna chop it down in a few years and yeah and see so two three years two and a half three years same same the ones back behind same this is that same kind of jack crew out of call out this thing's already got the six feet tall beautiful huh yep living on the homestead off gridden yeah aloha everybody and uh Hopefully next time I get the update, there'll be a little bit of greenery growing on this fence and creating some privacy. I put a, put a bunch of Sacha Inchi in and Grammy Chama and some other Garcinia and a big yellow mangosteen. The rare yellow mangosteens, I actually like them a lot. The parent to that tree is really good. But coming along. <laughs> Aloha everybody.